Today I filmed this burgundy halo sparkly eye for you. I used the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and I've had this palette for a really long time and I've only used it once before this and it didn't turn out so well so I got a little discouraged, haven't used it since. But I really like the way this eye look turned out today so I think I changed my mind about it. If you like this eye look as well then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so I already did one eye off camera just to save a little bit of time. First we are going to start out with the Urban Decay Primer Potion and this is in Fix. And I bought this one because it's the Urban Decay Primer Potion that 100% of the proceeds are donated to women's empowerment nonprofits selected by the Ultraviolet Edge, which is Urban Decay's global initiative to empower women. So I thought that was really awesome, 100% of the proceeds goes to that. So I picked this one up and I actually really like it. It's just like a concealer shade. Um, very neutral, looks like, like I said, my concealer. And I feel like it's a little bit more liquidy than the other ones, which I like because I feel like the other ones are a little bit dry. So I'm just gonna apply one swipe of this and I'm just gonna blend this in with my finger. You really do not need a lot of this stuff. A little bit goes a very long way. So I just blend this all over my eye and then up to my brow bone. Alright guys, so I also forgot to mention that I obviously already have my foundation, my concealer. I put liquid bronzer on today and then contoured. Um, I will leave all the, pr the products that I used in the description bar. It's just you guys have seen me do this so many times now. Alright guys, so now that I have my eyeshadow base on, I'm going to take some tape. This is just regular scotch tape and I'm going to rip off a piece and I'm going to put it on the back of my hand and lift it off a few times just to take some of like the super sticky off because it's not so fun on your eye then and I'm going to match this up as best as I can to the shape of my other eye. So first taking my Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, I am going to take the shade Golden Ochre and I'm just going to take that on a fluffy crease brush. This is a Sigma Tapered Blending Brush which is an E40 and I'm just going to take some of the product and blend this into my crease and a little bit above. And it's gonna feel weird like blending over the tape, but it's okay. The tape just helps clean up the outer edge and since we're working with like red shadows and a little bit darker, they are harder to clean up. So I just prevent this by placing the tape there and you get a nice clean edge. I would also suggest, if you don't normally work with darker shadows, to do your foundation afterwards. But for time's sake of this video, I did it first. So next, taking the shades Venetian Red and Love Letter. Venetian Red is obviously a little bit more red, whereas Love Letter over here is on the more pink side. So I'm just going to take those two shades on my Sigma Pencil Brush. This is an E30. I'm just going to mix the two together and just start to pack this on the outer third of my eye, keeping it on the lid. And I'm just going to use padding motions here to decrease the amount of fallout we have. And 
And then I'm also going to take the same two shades and pack it on the inner third of my eye. And then I'm just going to connect the two in the middle. So when I did this on the first eye, I found this to be a little bit too pink. So I'm going to go in with red ochre, and this is the most red. And I'm just going to pack this over top of what we just put down. So I'm also just going to go over top of the tape here, kind of taking this out in a V. And then I'm just very gently going to take this into the crease, not going up very high, keeping it right in the crease. Okay, so next I'm just going to take a clean, fluffy blending brush and just blend out the edges. So I'm just going to switch back to my pencil brush and put a little bit more of those three colors mixed together into the crease and then just going back in with my clean fluffy br blending brush and going to blend the edges again. Okay, so taking my pencil brush again, I am going to pick up the shade Cypress Umber, which is this dark brown shade. And I'm just going to pack this on the outer corner of my eye just to deepen it up a little. And then just back in with my blending brush. Okay, so next taking my touch insole. This is the Metalus Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duo. And this is in the shade number four, Adelio. And I probably just butchered that. So one side is like a metal liquid shadow. And the other side is a like flaky glitter. So what I'm going to do is, they these are quite, quite messy. They're beautiful, but they're really messy. So I'm going to take the liquid metal shade first, and I'm just gonna wipe off most of the excess, and then just very gently pack this on the inner, on the middle of my lid. Not using too much, because a little bit goes a long, long way. And then I'm just going to take my ring finger and dab it out. Just spreading the product and making sure there's no harsh edges. So I'll just go along the line where the shadow and the liquid shadow meet. Just blend it out very gently. So I'm just going to let that dry for a second and I'm going to put just a little bit more on top and then we'll use the glitter side. And the glitter side is where it's really messy. The liquid side, not messy at all. I just like to use my finger personally to blend it out. The glitter side, very, very messy. Okay, so just taking a little bit more and packing that mainly in the absolute center now. And again, blending that out with my finger. And then I'm going to flip sides. And this is the glitter side and this is the really messy side. So I like to make sure that I scrape off most of the glitter so I don't make such a big mess. And this you just want to pack on top of the, sh the liquid shadow that you just laid down and just very, very, very lightly pat. And I'm just keeping this directly in the center of what we just applied. So you're just gonna very gently peel off the tape, revealing a, a very nice, clean, sharp line that matches our other one. Next, I am going to take my Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liner, any liquid liner of your choice, and I'm just going to add a wing. Okay. 
Okay, so taking my little Veramona brush switch and my pencil brush, I'm just going to swirl that around there just to get off most of the color. And I'm going to go in with Love Letter, which is the more pink shade, and Red Ochre, which is the more red shade. Okay, and I'm just going to put those on the pencil brush and run this under my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take my Urban Decay Pro Smoky Smudger Brush and I'm going to go back in with Golden Ochre. And I'm just going to run that along where the red meets at the bottom. Just to kind of diffuse the color a little bit and not leave it so, so red. Okay, so next I'm going to do my lashes. So, of course, I'm using velour lashes. And these are the Style Wispy Sweet Nothings. So, I'm going to apply these lashes off camera because I do have a how to apply lashes video. So, if you haven't seen that, check that out. So, I will be back in just one moment with a full lash on. Alright guys, so I am back with both lashes on now, so I don't look quite as crazy. <laughs> so next I am going to take a black eyeliner, this one happens to be the Makeup Forever Aqua Liner, and I'm going to apply this to my lower lash line. I normally never ever wear black liner on my lower lash line, because my eyes are pretty small to begin with, but I felt like it worked with this look. I can't do this with one hand. Now that I have that on, I am going to take a small angled brush and I'm going to take that dark brown shade Cypress Umber again and I'm just going to pack this on my lower lash line as close to the lash line as possible. So lastly, I'm just going to go back in with my pencil brush and take a little bit more red ochre and love letter again and just run this over the lash line in between the dark brown and the transition shade that we kind of put in. So next we're going to do inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight. So first I used a ridiculous amount of shades on this. So first I'm taking tempura which is not tempura, tempura and I'm just going to take a flat brush. This is like a flat eye shading brush and I'm just going to pack this on the inner corner of my eye. And then I'm going to blend it upwards just a little bit so it doesn't look so harsh. And then I was a little ridiculous and I went in with the highlighter that I'm going to use. So this is the Kylie Cosmetics French Vanilla Highlighter. If you haven't seen, I also have a video on reviews of her highlighters, so definitely go check that out. And I'm going to pack this over top of what I just placed. And lastly, just because it looked really pretty in the palette, <laughs> I took Vermeer, which is this like more iridescent pinky shimmery color, and I just put a little bit of this over top. You could totally just use the ones from the palette. It's just this one I did on this eye when I was playing around with it, so I'm just going to repeat the same thing. But you can definitely just use tempura and veneer. Alright guys, so I'm going to use NARS Orgasm Blush. Normally I don't use this. I don't know why, I'm just not the biggest fan. But we're going to try it out today. So I'm using my It Cosmetics Blush Brush, of course. Any blush brush that you like. And I'm just going to put a small amount of this on my cheeks. And blend it backwards. Blend it back, not backwards. And then taking my Kylie Cosmetics French Vanilla Highlighter and my Anastasia number 23 brush, I'm just going to highlight my cheekbones. And then for lipstick shade today, you can definitely do something red or burgundy if you want. I'm going to go neutral because, uh, like I said, I want the eyes to be the focal point, but you could totally make this a monochromatic look and it would be really, really pretty with like a red lip. So I am going to use the Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick in the shade Venus.
guys so this is the final look for today i hope you enjoyed it if you did be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more videos from me in the future and we'll see you all again very soon bye everyone how do people wear chokers i literally feel like i'm being choked like i know they're called chokers so that's the whole point but i also feel like it looks like the side of my head is shaved what is going on Oh, I was blinking, and I thought my lights were flickering. <laughs> oh, God. This is why you don't wait till midnight to film. Yeah. And this is literally the first time in my life that I've worn a choker. Okay, not in the first time in my life, because I used to have those, like, stretchy ones when I was a kid. You know which ones I'm talking about? The tattoo ones. But, since those days, I have not jumped on the choker bandwagon. And it's the first time I'm wearing one, just because it's sparkly. I mean, I kind of dig it. I don't know. You tell me. It's not really my scene. Let me know if it works. It's my Perry the Platypus noise. Right? I think I did it. Did I do it?